So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experience on how it was to go to ESL Cologne together with MSI and a bunch of other YouTubers. So ESL One Cologne is a pretty big gaming event about CSGO in Germany and MSI reached out to me and some other YouTubers to come out there with them to promote their products and play at their booth. So today's video is not going to be a Jake Paul type beat vlog. It's just going to be like me showing some footage and I'm going to talk over it and I think it's a way better fit for my content either way. So the title of the video is Be Hopping in Real Life and that has to do with some something that we did as an event there. I'll show you guys that a little bit later in the video. But first, I want to show you guys what I received when I first got to the hotel. Boom, would you look at this package, dude? A nice ass mug, a cap. I'm gonna be swagged out. Look at this t-shirt I got and this knife. And guess what, guys? I got two of these knives, so I'm giving one away. If you want to join that giveaway, there's a link in the description that you can click on. It will link you to a tweet. There's a few steps you have to do, and it's actually super easy to enter the giveaway. So anyway, when I received the package, I felt kind of good. Like getting a paid for hotel room is one thing, but then also having a package that's specially for you. I mean, that's kind of cool. And the knife's also got my name engraved into it, so that's a pretty nice little ego boost. So the first day there was just people arriving and us receiving the package and that was actually it for the first day. However though, the day after we arrived, MSI arranged a stunt class for all the content creators to participate in. So obviously during the stunt class, we did a lot of stunts, we had to do some fighting scenes, we had to jump off a high plateau, we got launched back with like a cable attached to our body. Now the reason we did all of those stunts was to create a movie in the end that also has to do with the title of the video being Be Hopping in Real Life. So as you can see, a part of the movie is playing right now. What we did in the movie was recreate like a CSGO counter-terrorist versus terrorist scene. If you want to see the whole thing, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. I was pulling out that knife, dude. I, I was going in and I died right away. So that was my role in the movie. So about the bee hopping in real life thing, I posted a quote retweet on Twitter from MSI posting us doing like jumps for the warm up of the training. And I quoted it with bee hopping in real life with the boys. So I mean, that was kind of like the clickbait for the video. I'm sorry if you feel really betrayed here, but hey, I, I have to get you guys to click on the video somehow, right? But anyway, let's get on to the next thing, which was that we visited the MSI booth to show their new products. And yeah, I'll do a little review on the products right now. So first up, we got introduced to two new mother boards both of them had a rgb led strip in them or like multiple rgb lights in the motherboard me personally i'm a pretty big fan of rgb lights and i think it just makes your computer look better now i have an rgb strip in my computer itself but like not on the motherboard so i mean this would be pretty cool to having your setup now i'm not the best at explaining what all of these new features in the motherboards are so if you want to read about it make sure to check out the link in the description i'll leave all the products that are new from msi in the description down below they also had a laptop there with a 144 hertz display now i don't know if some of you guys are using 144 hertz but if you are then you definitely know how important it is when you're playing a game every time i try explaining 60 hertz to 144 hertz to somebody it's almost like whenever youtube updated their system to go from 30 fps to 60 fps and everything felt way smoother after that update i think that's the best way for me to explain what 144 hertz is like so the msi gs65 laptop has 144 hertz in it and then there's the msi ge73 raider laptop which is 120 hertz the 144 hertz laptop is the gs 65 which is a 15 inch screen and then you have the msi ge73 which is a 17 inch screen with 120 hertz now if you follow me on social media you are probably aware of the fact that me and the other content creators were playing some games of csgo at the booth all of these games were played on the msi ge73 raider rgb laptop which is the 17 inch 120 hertz laptop so as i said we played games on the laptops versus each other i played versus diddle and i was actually kind of pissed because i got five owed by diddle and the reason i'm pissed is because he told me that he could Currently doesn't even have CSGO installed and I got five owed by him like I didn't even win a single match so that kind of pissed me off but it was all good it was all for fun anyway also at the booth they had the MSI Infinite A gaming desktop and I actually thought I got some pretty sick footage of this because of all the RGB lights in there now this computer was hooked up to the MSI Optics MPG 27 monitor which is a 27 inch curve monitor with 144 hertz in it anyway that was it for the booth tour and after that we got to take a look at the arena which was pretty fucking huge like I didn't expect this at all but it was so fucking big and it was completely filled up so CSGO is definitely not dying or maybe it is a, a little bit just a little bit now this is pretty much everything i wanted to say about my experience with esl1 and msi now the rest of the time we were at the event we're obviously watching the csgo games being played there now i can tell you about how the games were but for me to really explain that to you would be kind of weird and i think the best way to experience the way the games are and like experiencing the hype is just to be there overall i really like the experience it was great to meet all the new content creators that i haven't met in real life before so anyway today's video was a 
little bit different. Like, I didn't want to do a full vlog of filming myself because I'm not a Jake Paul type guy. And anyway, making these real life videos with a commentary over it is not my content anyway, and it's not something I want to keep on doing. However, I do like making commentaries like these of me just talking about a certain subject or an event for this case. So I think the way I want to expand my content is just doing more commentary videos and also keep my gameplay up because I know you guys like that, as I can tell by how the videos are doing, of course. Obviously, if you like the video and you would like to see more, you already know what to do. And without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. My name is Matt, and I'm out. Peace.